Good morning, and thank you for joining us for today's ceremony. Participants in today's ceremony will speak in either Bulgarian or English. Instructions on how to access the audio feed in either language are now on the screen. Please take a moment to select the option that best works for you. Thank you. Today's session is being recorded and will be made available online in the near future. I now give the floor to the Director General of the NEA, Mr. William D. Magwood IV. Welcome and good morning, good afternoon, good evening to wherever you are around the world. I'm very pleased to have you with us today to celebrate this very important occasion, the occasion to mark the entry of Bulgaria as a member of the OECD Nuclear Energy Agency. Current circumstances make it impossible for us to do this in person. I would very much like to do this in person because we have with us some very important speakers from Bulgaria, including the Prime Minister, the Minister of Energy, and we're also joined today by the OECD Deputy Secretary. Let me begin by thanking all of our colleagues in Bulgaria for the hard work that they undertook to make the succession as efficient as it was. The process took a very short time by comparison, and we were very pleased with the opportunity to meet so many people in Bulgaria during this process. So today, we are going to celebrate the entry of Bulgaria as our 34th member. This is a very important occasion, and I'm very pleased that we have some statements today from both the Secretary General of the OECD, Mr. Gurria, and the OECD Deputy Secretary, Mr. Ehrlich Van Vestergaard Knudsen. And Mr. Knudsen will speak to us now. Mr. Knudsen, I give you the floor. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Magwood. Um, Prime Minister, ministers, your excellencies, uh, colleagues. Only 14 months ago, since Bulgaria formally applied uh, for membership of the OECD Nuclear Energy Agency. And we're here today to mark the accession of the 34th NEA member country. That really is uh, an impressive achievement. We don't always uh, talk about procedure, but today I think it's actually worth taking a moment to mark uh, the excellent cooperation from Bulgaria throughout the NEA uh, accession process. Your efforts to support the NEA fact-finding mission in January 2020 and your excellent interactions with the NEA steering committee in May of the same year all paved the way for the OECD Council to unanimously approve Bulgaria's accession to the NEA and uh, its data bank in July 2020. Thank you so much for that. The NEA uh, accession process has also revealed that Bulgaria shares the same values as all NEA uh, member countries, a continuous uh, improvement mindset, uh, and a like-minded approach to answering the energy needs of utmost importance in our modern societies. Bulgaria enjoys growing cooperation with the OECD at large and is committing itself to OECD values and standards. The OECD Council is currently considering Bulgaria's application for membership of the OECD. To that end, Bulgaria has already formally adhered to 32 OECD legal instruments and participates in no less than 11 OECD bodies. We look forward to even closer cooperation in the future. I'd now like to pass the floor to OECD Secretary General Angel Gurria. Previous engagements prevent him from being with us in person, but he has recorded this message for you. Thank you very much. Dear Prime Minister, Ministers, Excellencies, colleagues, I am delighted to celebrate the accession of Bulgaria to the Nuclear Energy Agency, the NEA. Congratulations to those who made this historic step possible, and in particular, Prime Minister Boyko Borisov, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs Ekaterina Sakarieva, uh, the Minister of Energy uh, Temenuska uh, Petkova, and all the NEA team led by Bill Magwood. Today is a milestone, not only for Bulgaria and the whole NEA family, but also for the OECD. It is a fruit of our constant efforts to make this organization more global, more inclusive. Um, becoming a member of the NEA was a key objective of Bulgaria's overarching OECD action plan, which Prime Minister Borisov presented to me 
in 2019, how uh, Bulgaria obtains about one third of its electricity from nuclear. And therefore, it's, it's an active player in the global nuclear energy field. This accession to the NEAA acknowledges Bulgaria's significant efforts to implement the highest standards in their nuclear energy policies and programs. It recognizes that you share the values of NEA membership, responding to growing energy needs, while ensuring security and safety and addressing climate change. Bulgaria's membership in the NEA is mutually beneficial. The NEA will benefit from Bulgaria's wealth of experience, notably in areas such as uh, nuclear safety and regulation, decommissioning, radioactive waste management, whereas Bulgaria, in turn, will be able to gain additional insight from uh, the agency's activities and the vast network of international specialists built up over the past six decades of work. So ceremonies like this one mark the end of a process. Yes, you know, all the, the formalities have been complied with, but more importantly, they celebrate a new beginning. As the NEA grows, all members stand to gain from expert dialogue on nuclear technology, on safety, stakeholder involvement, and from the sharing of nuclear data and continuous benchmarking through the NEA's committees and uh, the NEA's working groups. Now, we look forward to continue to work closely with Bulgaria and to deepen our ties over the years to um, fulfill the aim of translating better nuclear policies for better lives. Thank you. Once again, Mr. Newton, thank you for being with us and thank you for your remarks. And I have already thanked Secretary General Gurria for his remarks and I'm very pleased that he was able to give us some very insightful comments about Bulgaria um, and its relationship with the OECD overall. Again, I'm very pleased to be here today to welcome Bulgaria as a 34th member state. This is a very important occasion for all of us because Bulgaria is going to add a great deal to the overall conversation of the NEA. The NEA is a very unique organization. It brings together countries with the most advanced programs in nuclear energy policy, science, technology, and research. We bring together the world's experts to address and solve the most difficult issues of nuclear safety, radioactive waste disposal, in many other areas. Bulgaria is now part of that dynamic. And this is the perfect time for Bulgaria to join the NEA as it faces many of the issues that NEA members face. Thinking about the future of nuclear energy and the energy transition, dealing with nuclear waste disposal, dealing with decommissioning of nuclear facilities, assuring a strong human capacity for the future. We have a very lively discussion in the NEA community and we are very look, we're looking forward very much to having Bulgaria join that, that at his voice to all the others. When I visited Bulgaria back in 2019, I was most impressed with the expertise I found there, the excellent facilities, the independent regulatory body, and the very professional approach that Bulgarian officials take to critical issues. One area where we look forward to working with Bulgaria most is really in the development of human capital. I think this is a very important area for Bulgaria and many other countries around the world. And I know this is one that the energy minister, Ms. Petrova, uh, takes very seriously. 
we are looking forward to having Bulgaria join our conversation. We look forward to having Bulgarian experts in our meetings, and we look forward to working very closely with Bulgarian officials as we move together into the future. I look forward to my next visit to Bulgaria. Again, I'm sorry that we are not doing this in person because it was a great pleasure to visit Bulgaria. Um, and when I do return there, I look forward to engaging with Bulgarian experts, university students, scientists, and all, and all those who are interested in Bulgaria and the work of the MEA. And I most particularly look forward to working closely with, with the energy minister, um, Ms. Pet Petkova. Um, she has already shown us that she has great insights in the energy issues facing Bulgaria and the world. And I believe that she will be a tremendous voice to be added to our own. So I introduce her for her remarks this, this morning. Please, Ms. Petkova. Благодаря. Уважаеми господин министр председател, уважаеми господин Кнуцен, уважаеми господин Магут, уважаеми дами и господа, позволете ми на свой ред и аз да изреза своето задоволство от приемането на България като равноправен член на Агенцията за ядрена енергия към ОИСР. Безспорно, това е една много сериозна крачка напред към развитието на ядрената енергетика в България, но от друга страна това е едно безспорно доказателство за нивото, на което се намира българската ядрена енергетика, прилагайки най-високите стандарти за сигурност и безопасност. За България ядрената енергетика има особено значение, тъй като тя е основен гарант за нашата енергийна сигурност. Достигането на европейските цели за климатична неутралност до 2050 година на ниво Европейски съюз за нас са невъзможни без използването на ядрена енергия. Използвам случая да благодаря на всички колеги от Агенцията за ядрена енергия за подкрепата, която имахме в целия път, който извървяхме заедно, за да стигнем до днешната наистина изключително важна дата, изключително важно събитие за България. Благодаря от сърце и България е готова да се включи да даде своя принос, своя опит в областта на ядрената енергия. Благодаря ви. Once again, uh, Energy Minister Petkova, uh, very much appreciate your remarks. Uh, you were very insightful and uh, also, again, look forward to working with you very closely as your, uh, as your ministry comes into the NEA family. Now, finally, our last speaker this morning is a great pleasure and a great honor to introduce His Excellency the Prime Minister of, Bul of Bulgaria, Mr. Boyko Borisov. Prime Minister, the floor is yours. Good morning, everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank председателя на агенцията uh, Анхил uh, Секретарят uh, Анхил Гурия uh, за голямото приятелство за няколкото срещи, които сме имали най-високо днище и за усърната работа не само в България, но и цялата организация. След приемането на България в Шакалната на Еврозона, Европейския банк на Союза, the European uh, Union. Today, um, esteemed Minister William Magwood, we uh, have another occasion to celebrate and I'd like to thank you for the good words about Bulgarian experts because human capital is the most valuable asset and also for strictly adhering to the rules uh, um, of nuclear safety. Mr. Knudsen, I would like to thank you for the very uh, accurate assessment for your friendship and for the great work we have done, you have done. Uh, this is an organization, an agency, and we are now the 34th member of which and, uh, uh, it's a specialized uh, um, organization with headquarters uh, in Paris. And it's an intergovernmental uh, agency for cooperation uh, between countries that seek high achievements in technology, science, legislation, and environment as well. There are 
there were now 34 country, member countries of uh, the agency uh, and uh, they operate nuclear facilities all uh, over the world i'd like to thank also my minister my minister of energy and uh, I'd like to thank the colleagues from the uh, nuclear power plant in Kozlodui. And indeed, it is a um, uh, appreciation of their work. Bulgaria counts very much on in its uh, nuclear facilities. It sets an example of decommissioning four reactors and storing nuclear fuel. And now we are working hard on the project for a seventh reactor of uh, the uh, Kozlodui NPP. Uh, and uh, we are so happy to welcome you again uh, to Bulgaria. I hope the pandemic will be soon over. But uh, although uh, through the monitor, through the screen, I'd like to see you healthy, in good health, and uh, thank you so much for your friendship. And expertise is the right word, and um, well, uh, and good intentions. This is what OECD demonstrated to Bulgaria. Thank you so much. <laughs> if we had an audience, we would have applaud applauses. Well, well, if we, we had an audience, audience, we would also, also have champagne, champagne that we could recognize the moment. So the champagne, we'll have to wait for another time. But uh, again, Prime Minister, thank you so much for joining us and for your remarks. We appreciate it very much. Um, I also thank you, uh, Minister Pekova, for your remarks and looking forward to working with you very much. And um, Deputy uh, Secretary General Knudsen, thank you for joining us today. And um, I have already thanked uh, Secretary General Gurria for his uh, recorded remarks. That brings us to a conclusion today. Again, thank all of you for being here and thank you, Bulgaria, for being our 34th member. Welcome. Bye-bye, thank you very much. Thank you, Prime Minister.